Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am sat in front of my back door because I need to be sat next to a window and it is hot as fuck. Anyway, what I wanted to do was talk to you guys about autonomic dysreflexia. Now, you may be thinking, oh hey Kev, that's a very long word, you sure you can spell it? And the answer is no, but I'll have a go. A U T O N uh fuck. Um I'll have a correct spelling probably somewhere on the screen. It's probably showering at me, I don't know. Um But yeah, basically a couple of weeks ago, um I mentioned it in a video, uh where I was talking about different issues with spinal cord injury. Um however uh, when I was talking about the nosebleed to me. However, this uh, thing is like kind of different from that. Um, also, some news on the uh, uh, on the like nosebleed thing is I spoke to my dad about it, and apparently I had them since like before my injury. So I am just a bloody British person, um, and I have every right to say bloody all the time, all the bloody time, bloody. Um, basically, this is the first video where I'm having to record two videos in one day, so I needed something easy after um, doing the Octane review, which was probably first like two weeks ago for you guys. Um, autonomic dysreflexia is something that happens with some cases of spinal cord injury um, and it can be caused by, by pretty much anything so it's basically because of the nerves being damaged uh, from your injury down basically some of the signals either don't reach your brain or aren't the right signals um, so getting too hot can cause it, having, I don't know, to go for a wee um, could cause it, um, certain medications, I know there was a risk uh, with my urine medication, um, what the fuck that's called, um, and it can be caused by pretty much anything to be honest, like I've spoken to some people and apparently it can be caused by uh, just a crease in your trousers can cause it to happen. But basically it happens from, I believe, T3 down, or T3 up. Um, do you remember in the basic talk about the spinal cord injury video, where I said about different levels, well, it's either up or down from there. I'm going to have to uh, correct myself when I'm editing this. Um, but yeah, basically, it's something that can cause you to have a lot of problems. So it will cause your heart to pump faster uh, or slower. It will cause you to have headaches, possibly be sick, um, and just not have a good time. You know, uh, certain people it can cause spasms. Uh, like really bad uncontrolled ones, or like obviously not very difficult to deal with. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a thing that happens because of a certain reason, um, depending on the person, just like most things, um, that will cause your body to have a bad time. Now, this does have to be said that it is potentially lethal. Uh, it can cause strokes, you know, um, because of the heart, and basically, be careful. Um, another thing as well is, uh, I think it can, like, cause you to, like, be extra hot and sweaty above your injury. I'm just sweaty because I'm hot fuck, um, because of the sun. Um, excuse my it's sweaty. 
Um, but yeah, the uh, it can be caused by a lot of things, so just be careful. Um, I'm obviously not a doctor, so speak to your doctor uh, if you're concerned about it. Um, not everything in this video could be true, it's just from what I understand about it, I've done quite a bit of research, but obviously I'm just one dude, it's been a while since I've researched it, because it's something that I understand about myself. Now, um, I might do a separate video talking about how it affects me, um, just because, uh, I guess. So, yeah. That's going to be it for the general talk about autonomic dysreflexia, or AD. Um, just some recommended things to do. Uh, talk to your doctor, search AD, spinal cord injury, or autonomic dysreflexia, if I've been able to figure out how to spell it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, learn something, please leave a like, subscribe, all of that usual YouTuber stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.